Hello my friends, welcome to Top Classical Music. Today we will present a short biography about Haydn. Franz Joseph Haydn was recruited at age 8 to the sing in the choir at St. Stephen's Cathedral in Vienna, where he went on to learn to play violin and keyboard. After he left the choir, he supported himself by teaching and playing violin while studying counterpoint and harmony. Haydn soon became an assistant to composer Nicola Purpura in exchange for lessons, and in 1761 he was named Kapellmeister, or court musician, at the palace of the influential Esterhazy family, a position that would financially support him for nearly 30 years. Isolated at the palace from other composers and musical trends, he was, as he put it, forced to become original. While Haydn rose in the Esterhazy family's esteem, his popularity outside the palace walls also increased, and he eventually wrote as much music for publication as for the family. Several important works of this period were commissions from abroad, such as the Paris symphonies and the original orchestral version of The Seven Last Words of Christ. Haydn came to feel sequestered and lonely, however, missing friends back in Vienna, such as Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, so in 1791, when a new Esterhazy prince let Haydn go, he quickly accepted an invitation to go to England to conduct new symphonies with German violinist and impresario Johann Peter Salomon. He would return to London again in 1794 for another successful and lucrative season. Haydn returned to Vienna in 1795 and took up his former position with the Esterhazys, although only part-time. At this point, he was a public figure in Vienna, and when he wasn't at home composing, he was making frequent public appearances. With his health failing, his creative spirit outlasted his ability to harness it, and he died at age 77. Haydn is remembered as the first great symphonist and the composer who essentially invented the string quartet. The principal engineer of the classical style, Haydn exerted influence on the likes of Mozart, his student Ludwig van Beethoven and scores of others. Well, that's all for today. See you in the next video.